Hey, welcome back everybody. We're getting, we got ourselves the first set of winner semis. I'd be in Demise, Mr. E versus House of 3K Jen. This is the winner of the previous side of the bracket that you saw. And hold them out. These guys are slugging already. So Final Destination is quite the interest is quite the uh, ideal stage for both of them. They like Palutena wants to catch uh, Lucina's landings. Lucina wants to just have a, enough of space to dash around and get all of her hitboxes in. Both of this isn't really in favor of one another at the moment. They're about even. So what, what I really expect to see is kind of just a giant slugfest as he read the roll in. Neutral got up roll, the classic. What do we do this time? Almost catching the jump with the back air, but he misspaced it and allowing Lucina to get it at her own. Down throw too high for any down throw conversions. Except for, except for a raw kill or a back throw. One of the two. And reading the spot, I'm getting that own back air. There it is. A raw kill came indeed, and now we got an air, and that's two. Missing the up air though, didn't get a full hop. Getting back on stage for, with that explosive frame forcing, explosive flame forcing the three to shield. A great parry. We see a lot of parries today. They're good at it, in fact. Mr. E's ledge pressure is very much based on holding shield, missing the, missing the up B as a get off me tool and getting hard punished for it. Alright, missing the ledge. Here. There it is. It's hard to, these players are playing incredibly fast. It's hard to keep up with the pace. Another back air taking that kill. High rage, high damage. And Palutena is certainly a character that can pour on the lead. Even more so. Falling with the counter. He's got he's in Mr. E's head. But the up up to finally taking it, but he's got such a lead at this point that it's really it's gonna be hard for, for E to come back. If, every option is getting stuffed out, he's being held at ledge. Trying to reverse it. Oh man, these. These falling backers are just getting, I don't know if his shield is not coming out in time, but it's its certainly its certainly reversing the situation every time. Dash forward and air. Now playing it cool, playing it cool, just getting the shield. This match has been 90% at ledge. <laughs> That's okay. Making sure to space it, very nice. No, knowing it won't hit, but catching the drift and the backer on the DI in. Very nice. Joe rec D Dill. Mm. Jen recognizing the situation every time. Neutral get up. Missing. Neutral get up shield, missing the one frame punish. Like, it's incredible what these two, like, they're kind of playing around their deep knowledge of each other already. Swing for the swing for the fences at where they know their each other will be. As that that takes stock too. Mr. E turning on the jets. But is it too little too late? A couple a couple rolls, but lucky enough not to get grabbed. And the dash attack will do it, breaking through the dancing blade. He bans Battlefield and Smashville. No? Yes. Yes, Battlefield and Smashville. Okay, so it was that match was really it was it was Jen favored, but not in such a way that made it made it seem so heavily like on one side of the pendulum. Stop the There's definitely ways for for Mr. E to figure out what it's doing, as he's done before and as he can do now. I didn't see where. Oh, Yoshi's melee. Okay, the other triplat stage. We've seen it on triplat. Swordy on triplat's always a staple. He didn't get to Smashville, which I know is his generally preferred pick, but. I'm certain this will this will do just nicely. And catching up a couple strings to getting each other to about even four five percent differential, but he's looking to stack it on further. Oh the ledge trump, the ledge trump was so clean. They're pulling out. 
It's pulling out a bag of tricks. Both of these, both of these players know what's in, know what's in, each, in each other's bag of tricks. Like we've seen it in Palo Tana, aren't the most like ridiculous. Aren't they not gonna pull out anything that you haven't seen before? But what they, what the players need to do is find ways to find ways to win that the other one won't be covering at the moment in time. It's all about recognition and disaster. Up B, trying to scoop the up B again, but that back throw won't kill you. It's too big. It's very safely spaced. Of course, that's what we've seen his biggest strength is having a very large, very large, very powerful sword. Safe safety on shield is the name of her game. Is the jump back forward air takes the last stock, takes the first stock. Okay. Missing supposed to And we got a pal here. Hello, pal. Hello. Hello. So, Jen is up to. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Jen took game one, and now Mystery is in this situation right here. So he's winning right now and pouring it on with these up airs. Under the platform. Oh, the counter lasts too long. Uh, I feel like a lot of counters in this game are a little bit deceptive with their length. They're very back ended for their active yeah. frames. Like, with, the, with a couple of exceptions, like a lot of counters can last like two frames. Very nice. Uh, uh, this is uh, doable, but a very rough spot for Jen because he's just going to eat a lot of extra credit here. And Mr. E's like, I mean, you he's know, just going to get clipped by something that's, eventually. That's literally what I said last game. The last yeah. game we were, it was this situation, but Jen was on. Jen was at 150 and took Mr. E's second stop. And it's like doable, but unlikely. Yes. Um, <laughs> see, the thing is, right? Is okay. There it is. Okay, there. Um, I was going to say, Mr. E, especially when he's feeling himself. Um, he kind of lets stuff fly. Like, you'll see a lot of the uppies like that. Yeah. And granted, most of those are actually a bit safer than you would expect. He reacts to like, oh, you know, Palatay's gonna jump and it's on my shield. It's probably gonna be an error, all up that sort of thing. But it's a lack of hesitation for that that allows him to sort of rack on damage, um, which we saw last stock before Jen was able to take him out. And now he's sitting at 102. He hasn't even put any damage on Mystery yet. So this is a very uphill battle if it's to be done at all. And that'll be it. JV? 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 Yeah, it, you could see, I saw it definitely towards the end of the first game, like, Mystery got a lot more comfortable. He was able to take uh, two stocks on his last, so he he kind of figured out what Jen was generally the direction he was trying to go today, which, and in response, especially in that last game, he was picking a lot of options and, and formulating a lot of plans that would leave Jen, like, on his back foot. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Um... I think part of that, right, is that Jen, I mean, Palutena in general, um, she has a lot of very good options for how she wants to play out the neutral, especially as a mid-range, like against a sword fighter. Um, but they're not like end-all, be-all. There is very good, but it can be outspaced. Dash attack, uh, if it whiffs, it's very punishable. Back air, uh, you're never going to see a rising bear because there's basically no follow-ups to it. Um, unless they're like very high percent. So you'll see a lot of Mr. E like working to get space. He aggressively pursues it and doesn't let people get it back super easily. But uh, I mean, these two have played a lot. So you'll still see Jen sneak his way back to stage as he'll need to, but Mr. E will close that gap quite a lot. This game is going to be won and lost at the ledge. They play. They have played most of their games on like just revolving door. Who's on the, Who's on stage and who is at ledge and how do you get back on? Um, both of their ledge press are both incredibly, incredibly good. Yes, uh, I think it's Queen worth noting right there. that Palatina's she has more of a present off stage with explosive flame, and if she really decides to. Uh, See, like, right there, she had completely taken uh, the neutral get up or just top back on stage away. Um, whereas Mr. E has a safer time covering ledge options. You know, Palutena commits to uh, falling back air. There's little bits of windows there, and it's hard to sneak in, but with Mr. E especially, you can, oh, I'm going to short hop Nair into down tilt, and that's very difficult to get past, let alone punish. So yeah, he's, setting up, he's setting up his impenetrable wall, holding these Nairs, holding these fares. We'll see. Yeah, too, high, too high, yes. too high. Too high of a percent right now. Uh, it's looking like a stray hit will take it. That's a good call right there. He's landing with, oh, sneaking under the jump with the up tilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is uh, one of the big merits against Palutena. I mean, big in quotation marks because a lot of her flaws are a little uh, low key. She's yeah. not a very bad character. 
but uh, she does Very want true. to jump all the time. You'll see that, yeah. like, you know. Her tilts are borderline, like, circumstantial is the word I, <laughs> I'll yes. use. I think <laughs> they're, they're strong when you have the right idea and it's the right time. Like, up tilt as an anti-air is very good. Forward tilt as a medium, say neutral get up or two frame is very nice. Yeah. Down tilt the same. But uh, you want the air. You want the back air. Uh, the only time you really mix that up when you're playing mid-range and you're not trying to get up from the ledge, and even then, is dash attack. Um, I feel like dash attack is only really, really viable if, if you're like pushing through some landing aerials since it does have that shielding vulnerability. Yes. But it's so it's it's risky otherwise since you don't get a lot of forward momentum once you commit to the move. And it's incredibly that punishable. Was a really good punish on yeah. that one. Uh, hitting the early up beat, baiting it out. And he lands one there, which means he lands uh, one and a half more. Yep, I'm actually surprised. I think that would probably be due to the rage there, but I'm typically used to I think two Depending on character, three nairs into a forward or up air. Yeah. Um, if you get the and if you get the one up air, you get another. Yes. Especially where on PS2, since those platforms on just like the perfect spot. And we will see a lot of PS2 gen. I'm not sure that this is his favorite stage or the one he feels is the best for Palutena, but this is the one I've seen him on the most by far. Uh, I don't recall what Mr. E banned, but this certainly gives Palutena a lot, a lot of space to use her incredible, incredible airspeed and string combos across the stage. So that's that way it allows her to get more nares and more, another two frame. <laughs> Big sweep in sword. Can we talk about how he sort of went Matrix there? He's like, okay, auto reticle, that's cool. There go all the bullets. All right. So that was interesting there. Um, going for the down smash and then E spot dodging it because he wasn't too sure on the spacing. So, no punish on either side, sort of just a return to neutral. Quick jab. Mr. E's percent is kind of climbing high. So, he's got to play a little bit a little bit more careful now. Triple parry. That is actually a, uh, a, yeah, single parry. Yeah, it's it a single parry, but it, it hits three times, so it looks cool. <laughs> yeah, you'll see a lot of that too. Mystery is, um, I actually got to play against him a little earlier. Mystery loves to trade back. Uh, when he's in disadvantage because Lucina's got a really good, a lot of really good aerials. Yeah. Um, and it's... Ooh. All right, yeah. Not sent, yeah, sent the other way. And oh, he tried... Tried to he air dodge even, through He even... So the plan there is like, oh, I'm going to air dodge fastball. I'm going to yeah. well, fastball air dodge. And he still didn't make it. Yeah. You no, know, VV, that happened to VV as well. Like, his last stock, he tried to fastball air dodge through a explosive flame and got clipped by the very last hit. Mm-hmm. 